And just like that, we're back in part two. Yeah, this thing got, uh, it stopped. It stopped, so that's that's a bummer. I'm going to have to make two parts out of this, I guess. All right, let's keep on moving, beloved. Let's keep on moving, okay? Next video. Huh. Seems to be the issue. We want to take you now to a news alert that just came into our newsroom out of San Jacinto in Texas. Police are investigating a shooting where at least five people are now dead and the suspected gunman is on the run. We also have been told that one of the people right, killed was the, an eight-year-old child. The shooting. That's, we watched that uh, before. Let's keep on moving. For days, Pasco County crime scene technicians and detectives went through this home on Moog Road. Sheriff Chris Nako says he will not go into specifics out of respect for the victim and his family, but he says his team saw gruesome things in the home. It was a horrible scene for them out there for several days. Um, it was tough. Sheriff Nako says the victim texted his wife on April 19th, saying he was about to make his last delivery for the day for Uber Eats. The sheriff says security video shows the victim arriving at the home. You watch the video, he's just... He's a guy just like everybody else, just trying to make a living for his family. Later that evening, the victim's wife reported him missing. Detectives then obtained his last known GPS location from Uber Eats and tracked him to this home. Later, detectives found trash bags outside of the home. Unfortunately, what we found inside of some of those trash bags was human remains. Detectives then arrested Oscar Adrian Solis, charging him today with first degree murder. The sheriff says Solis has a long and violent criminal history in Indiana. Burglary, ag bat, battery, battery on detention staff. He supposedly stabbed somebody several times while he was in prison in Indiana. So you're talking about a very violent individual that Indiana released and sent down to Florida. Kalina Rios is an Uber Eats driver who also makes deliveries in this neighborhood and says she is now terrified to work because of what happened here. I have to think of other safety plans now because I do the same thing this Uber driver do, dropping off a simple order. You know, it could have been any of us. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking uh, news by downloading the uh, NBC News app. I gotta put them. Um, I gotta yeah, fix this down. I don't know why I keep doing this. Uh, yeah, so this guy you know he um he was just dropping off you know certain certain things and this uber uber driver went to his house and and he he killed him he killed a guy i don't know why i i have no idea what what's going on but just to um to let people know that time is changing, things are moving. A simple order, you can just drop up to someone and the guy ended up killing you for no reason. I, I don't know why and how this would happen. Was the, was the food late? Was the order not right? What was it that triggered this man to kill the fellow and then dismember the guy, you know? And cut him up into pieces. Like, what? What would? What is the motive behind that? What would compel someone to do something like this? Of course, we do know there are demons and spirits going on around there, so we are extremely careful. You know. Then again, when things like that happen, you know, they show the picture of the fellow, but and they have this sister right here explaining it. Just to throw something in the confusion. Every single clip that we play, there's always one of our people in there. As if we are the majority of the population. If that is, then, then they can do this. But if you have 13% of the population, every time something bad happens, it is always one of us here trying to explain. And, and then when something good happens, you don't see our people. So... That's what those guys do. Keep on moving. We begin with breaking. Oh, so that's still the more thing. You know, I really don't want to talk about these things, man. All right. So, 
DC's oh part two. And I go to part one. There we go. There we go. So this is what had happened on April 12, 2022, uh, during the flood, when I had to go rescue my mother. This one has no comment. So I am going to do this, and I'm going to do comment on it. I'm going to go comment on it. But this video, uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be released. I'm going to do them. Well... I wanted to do them separately because there's so much that I want to say so I will upload this separately I'm gonna skip it so I can upload this separately because this is very important for me to cover all right well, at the Gaylord Rockies Hotel today and we know several people are hurt so we're going to get straight to Olivia Young and Olivia fire officials telling us at least six people were hurt how bad were their injuries yeah Kelly so we know two of those people have life-threatening mm. injuries now the other four are being treated for less severe injuries the collapse took place in the pool area where there were between 50 and 100 people at the time one of those people was a 12 year old from Highlands Ranch he described the moment the collapse happened he said there were about eight people in the pool and others in the hot tub. While I was in the pool, I just got off the slide and all of a sudden all of the all of the metal pipes and stuff fell around everything and some of it landed in the hot tub where I saw people get in earlier. That boy says it felt like it was happening in slow motion. He said he heard banging and smelled gasoline and braced for the roof to collapse or for a fire to start. Now Okay, one thing I want to point out, what's going on lately? A lot of things are collapsing, and we had that garage over there. Uh, uh, browse the setting, allow access to microphone, because this thing is new. All right, let me try to do this right quick. All you guys, I don't want to stop this thing again, but I guess I have to. Okay, it should be working right. King collapse. Well, not call out. Manhattan parking lot collapse. There we go. All right then. That's two weeks ago. Uh, let me see. We're also following another developing story here in New York City tonight. A deadly parking garage collapse in lower Manhattan. Several people trapped. From above, cars can be seen piled up on the shattered floors below. Witnesses reported hearing people scream from the debris. Buildings evacuated, including a nearby university. Tonight, there is still a search underway for any more possible victims. ABC's Trevor Rolfe at the scene for us. Tonight, at least one person is dead and multiple people are injured after a multi-story parking garage collapsed in lower Manhattan. It just it was a really loud noise, like something exploded. And we saw, I saw people running out. Okay, this dude name is Gabriel Yagudayev. Okay. Gib is in the mix. Let's keep on moving. Out quickly from the scene. Holy The upper floors of the garage pancaking just blocks away from Wall Street and the World Trade Center. The streets are now jammed with emergency vehicles. Six workers are believed to have been in the structure when it came down. We had firefighters inside the building conducting searches. The building was continuing to collapse. We made the decision to remove all our people from the building. The FDNY then sending in a robot dog and flying a drone inside oh the building to continue searching and assessing. Yeah, this robot turned out to save everyone and including resuscitate or revive that one dead person and our people made a big deal out of that freaking robot like that little dog robot playing and stuff they like oh you know this is uh, eric adams coming out there and introduce them again as this is a big deal like yo we're gonna rule forever you know and that fellow is not one of our people whether you want to believe it or not he is one of the samaritan you know a lot of those people they put in there they are not our people at all you're Samaritan. They just look like us. Horrible and terrible people. They hate us. They hate our guts. You ever wondering why certain black folk hate our people? 
because they are freaking Samaritan. You know, go out there and make a, make a huge splash. Like, hey, we got those things over there. They're like, get out of here, man. A lot of people were panicking online. Big leave that's what they're going to send for Jacob's trouble. Get out of here. It's in conditions. Police and fire personnel evacuating nearby buildings, including Pace University, where tonight classes there are canceled. And David, authorities say they're investigating the cause, but all indications are this was a structural collapse. Of course, that's what it was. Mr. Trevor with the 18 in there. Great glory. You know what to do. This building has several active violations going back to 2003 for cracks in the concrete. One official said workers within two blocks should stay home because this is still unstable, David. There's going to be a lot of focus on those violations. Yeah, they just give you something that is probable. They, they, they give you a probability, you know, violation and stuff. Oh, okay. So, <coughs> something that is, excuse me, in Wall Street, uh, you know, rich people, bankers and everything. That's good, that's good. Uh, yeah, parking lot violation and stuff like that. That's good. That, that, that's, that checked out. Yeah, whatever, man. Now to that breaking news in Atlanta, a mass shooting suspect in custody tonight. So how did cops get their man? Let's get back to Eyewitness News reporter Josh Scheininger in the newsroom. Josh? Well, Sade, cops in Georgia tonight credit a combination of technology and teamwork for bringing a peaceful end to this dramatic day. Tonight, 24-year-old Dion Patterson is safely in custody, bringing a peaceful end to a manhunt that consumed a wide swath of metro Atlanta, for hours. We are able to bring this suspect into custody without further harm. He will be charged and stand trial for his crimes. It was a day of uncertainty and abject fear of bloodshed at the doctor's office. I heard the pops. I didn't know it was gunfire. All I seen was police cars and SWAT and everybody's just pulling up, pulling up, pulling up, back to back, back to back. Around lunchtime, police say Patterson, who served in the Coast Guard but was discharged this past January, showed up for a doctor's appointment at the large practice in the heart of Midtown Atlanta, but minutes later allegedly pulled a handgun and opened fire, hitting five people, all women, killing one on the spot. Everybody's a female shot. She's seriously bleeding. Shot in the side in the back. Heavily armed SWAT cops swept the medical building, interrupting surgeries in progress. And then I heard some policemen outside saying, you know, come out with your hands up or hold your hands up. To, and I was like, hmm, that doesn't sound good. It wasn't. Police quickly figured out Patterson had commandeered a running car at a nearby gas station. They programmed license plate readers across the region to search for that car. And that investigation soon showed us that this perpetrator had left the city and remained a threat elsewhere. <laughs> Within 20 minutes, the chaos moved 10 miles north to the suburban bedroom communities of Cobb County, Georgia, where police found the car ditched and were flooded with tips from the public. Hours later, one of those tips would pay off, leading officers right to Patterson. Tonight, the Atlanta mayor touted his city's double-digit drop in violent crime. They've targeted the precursors to violence and cracked down on repeat offenders. They've revamped their policing. But the remaining problem, the mayor says, is obvious. It's the guns that we're talking about. We live in a state and in a nation yeah, where people... That's, they have to get a black guy going out there and say the gun is the problem. You know, if we, if we don't have if we don't have a weapon, you know, everything should be all right. It's the gun that is the problem. You just have this dude saying it. People have easy and wide access to firearms that are used to kill other fellow Americans. We need immediate action that meets the urgency of this crisis. A 39-year-old woman was killed at the scene. The four others are all in critical but stable condition tonight. As for the suspected shooter, his parents have told reporters he suffered from mental health issues. But yeah. what is this all about? Where did he get his gun? Still so many questions tonight. So many on uh, health stuff, you know. Oh, well, he had some mental health stuff, you know. And then mental health, he, he was just mentally unstable. So he just went in there and he got a gun and then he shouldn't kill those people. Mental health and mental health. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, this called judgment, plague number nine, execution by the sword.
Pluto is in the midst and this thing going to happen more and more and more. And in every day there's gonna be a mass shooting. We told you about this before and is that thing even recording right now? Is it is it recording? Mm, seems that way. So yeah, that's what's going on man. Let's keep on moving. Oh let me see. Uh, Cotton camera on Beach when drives to Utah to shoot and kill brother. All right, then, yeah. Well, on this, then, proceed. A man from Long Beach is dead after he was caught on camera shooting and killing his estranged brother in Utah. Hmm. Ring doorbell video captured the moment of the shooting, and we do want to warn this is disturbing to watch. Really? No. Well, how long has she been there? Uh, and we froze the video the moment Jeffrey Roberts shot and killed his brother Scott. Here's what happened. Authorities say Jeffrey drove from Long Beach to his brother Scott's house in North Ogden, Utah. Scott opened the door. You heard the brief conversation and then Jeffrey began shooting Scott's wife was also in the house, was shot. She survived, remains in the hospital. Neighbors heard the gunshot, called police. When the authorities arrived, Jeffrey began shooting at them. Police returned fire and he was killed. The couple's daughter set up a GoFundMe aimed to assist her mother after her father's death. Authorities don't know the motive of the shooting. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great. Huh. The guy, I believe, the, the, the hell is going on here man uh, what's i i'm so confused a strange brother he drove to his brother asking his brother is okay killed the brother he drove in utah of course we just talked about the monolith you know in utah in the beginning of the video and i this is so confusing what the hell is going on here i i don't understand anything here it's he went to the he from long beach california which Long Beach, California, and then he drove to Utah and shoot and kill his brother and then got killed by he saw the camera. Great glory, man. Um it's it's just a lot going on, man. Execution by the sword, man. It's just a lot going on. I'll do this separately. Anyway. The guy went to his brother house, killed the brother, shoot the wife. And you ended up shooting out with the police and he died. People on beaches along Florida's east coast are finding massive clumps of seaweed from a huge blob floating in from the Atlantic Ocean. Now tractors are cleaning up the unsightly end smelly mess, but there are concerns much more could be on the way and what this might mean for the environment and tourism. Manuel Bohorquez is in Miami. Manuel, good morning. Emmanuel. Good morning to you. It's about this time once the sun has come up where you can really see what has washed up on shore overnight. This seaweed is known as sargasm and it, it is expected to keep coming in waves over the next several months. It's very undesirable. Oscar Vasquez has owned his Miami Beach condo for more than 25 years and says he's never seen this much sargasm, a seaweed this early. There are parts of the beach where it's undesirable and difficult to get into the water. Specialized tractors have been raking up the clumps of brown weeds that line these beaches. But by the time the sun rises again, they're usually back. The sargasm that is picked up is destined for landfills, but before, it's piled just offshore, releasing a foul odor. Not to be overly dramatic, I feel that maybe I bought in the wrong place. Really? No hish. No freaking hish. Yeah. Suddenly now, Hmm, I bought this million dollar condo by the beach right now. I think I th I bought in the wrong place now. So now it is one because because of this. Yes. Let, let's hear this again, beloved. Okay, listen to this dude. All odor. Not to be overly dramatic, I feel that maybe I bought in the wrong place. Really? Yeah, because this is not what I bargained for. 
the sea yeah. it is naturally occurring. But this year, scientists say there's a bumper crop. On an average March since 2011, there's been this much of it in what's called the Great Sargasm Belt. This year, there was this much, an estimated 13 and a half million metric tons, which could reach beaches in the Caribbean and Florida over the next few months. All the seaweed that Afifa Abdul Ghani studies sargasm at the University of Miami. When wastewater is released into the river systems and makes its way into the ocean, we have all that nutrients that can be found in wastewater. And they help it basically acts as a to fertilize yep. the sargasm. Mm -hmm. She's analyzing what productive human uses it might have. Instead of putting it into a landfill, we want it to compost it and see if a usable product can be made from it. And yes, it can be composted. But that's still in the research stage. Until then, Miami-Dade County officials say hmm. beaches will be cleaned daily, eager to protect tourism revenue and property values. Maintain the beaches. No hish. Let me tell you what's going on with the whole sargasm thing over there. Whatever that they are telling you, that's not real, that's false. Those people have no idea what's going on. You see, that sargasm thing, it's not something that happens every year on a specific spot and things like that. Let's look at the map on Google Map. Let's go to Google Earth, excuse me. Slash Earth, right? Okay, let's go to Google Earth. <coughs> Just to make one thing clear here. Alright. So, remember, what they are showing you here, this thing, it's coming like the tip of Africa or in the middle right here. So, let's look what's going on here. Oh, boy. Hey, oops, I think I'll go too far. There you go. Okay, so... This thing is coming somewhere on the coast right here. See if we have it right. Uh, I can zoom in in this. Yeah, between Brazil. Is that what that is? Is that Brazil over there? Huh? Not quite sure, but yeah, I think so. It's coming from right here. And then it travel to under here and then somehow okay Bridget if you look at what they are showing you this thing okay it's travel right here it should have covered Haiti this is Miami right there okay or Miami Beach it shouldn't reach Miami Beach at all it should have traveled right here and then go somewhere in Mexico or whatever but it 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 somehow bypass all the islands and go straight to Miami. They got the most of it. That mean whatever that they are showing you, that's not what that is, and that's not the reason of this. Okay, what I'm thinking, what I'm getting when I'm studying this thing, there is a huge awakening here. When I say awakening, I mean literally. There's an there are all animals here, like, and there's well, there is one animal in there that is waking up and this thing had a lot of um <clears throat> excuse me a lot of things on it sea weeds and stuff and then it shedded its body and this thing is moving and when it move and the uh the the sea grass whatever is moving that way it's an animal that produced this thing okay as we already known before when we move to oh, oops I go too far. Okay, when we when we go to the Antarctica, we you, we can see this giant uh, a python like animal. Okay, you can see the jaw. Okay, the snout, the eyes, and then the head. This giant snake. Okay, you can see it. Okay, you can see the body. Giant snake wrap around. Okay, wrap around Antarctica. Okay, you can see that's the tail right there wrap around Antarctica and protected it because there's something holy in there and people are not supposed to go in there okay this is not the only animal that is there all right you got plenty other animal that are in the uh, ocean 
and protecting the oceans and protecting kingdoms and protecting things. You got the Pacific Ocean, okay, which is the Pacific Ocean. There's nothing there, okay, except for well, Tahiti. Okay, well, they rename it, <coughs> excuse me, they rename it French Polynesia, but Tahiti, you know, is another word for, you know, Haiti, Tahiti, Tahiti, Haiti, you know, and, and, and Hawaii. Those are the only few islands. See how huge this thing is? Okay, there is literally no big mass land here, but there is. Okay, there is. It's just underwater, and at the proper time, this land will rise. See, what you're calling French Polynesian? Look, look at the look at look at. You see how this is a mountain? Hmm, can we drop somebody here? Okay, this is a mountain, a, a head of a volcano. Okay. All right. This is the head of a volcano. You can see how ashy the 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 um the the terrain is. Okay. See, this is how ashy it is. So this thing, okay, it's it's the head. It's the top of a bigger mountain that is underwater. That's like the, let's say this is the top of Mount, for ex, for instance, Mount Everest. Okay, this island that you see right here was a road. It was a road to the top of the uh, of the mount of the mountain of the biggest land. You can call it Lemuria or Atlantis or whatever. The, the massive land is underwater. This is the tip of the mountain, the highest mountain in that land. All right, so those sargasm is that what that is? Sargasm that's a weird name. I just realize I just make the connection there. Maybe I just make a terrible connection, but anyway, those sargasm, so to speak, uh, they are being done or being riled up or, or riled up by an animal, it's not something that just came out. Uh, those things don't come out of the water peacefully. It, they must have had a force, some kind of huge thing that disturbed it, and then they came out. Great glory, all right? Azov the Degel. Hello. Hello, Denis. Au rêve. Hey, 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 hey. Anarchist. Hello. What? Azov the Degel. I'm in shock. No, 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 no. אורב, מה? אני בהלם. אני בשוק. This is very powerful right there, okay? Alright? This is very powerful right there. A raven and a cat. Okay? Raven and a cat. Well, when you go into the Egyptian mythology, you know, Right. Uh, uh, whoops. Give me a second here. <clears throat> when you go into Egyptian mythology, let's see what we can find. Segment. Boy, hungry. No, not segment. 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 Okay. Egyptian goddess Segment. Ah, uh, well. According to Rosicrucian Egyptian Museum, Bastet was the goddess of protection, pleasure, and the bringer of good. There we go. Let's look at Sekhmet. Okay. This is her. Yeah. I should have made one. Could have made one. But I'm going to make one. Okay. This is Sekhmet. All right. You know what Sekhmet does? This cat woman. This cat lady. Let's, let's leave it on this picture. It's more menacing. But let's read first who Sekhmet is. Uh, I would like Google to read it. Egyptian goddess Sekhmet. There you go. Really? You didn't say anything. All right, let's uh, let's put it. <coughs> excuse me. There you go. Let's put it here. 
Egyptian goddess Sekhmet. There you go. Really? Google didn't say anything. All right, well, anyway. So, um, in Egyptian mythology, Sekhmet, Sekhmet is a warrior goddess as well as goddess of medicine, Sekhmet and stuff. Well, Sekhmet is the daughter of the sun god, Ra, as the black community when you needed him, and is among the more important of the goddess who act as the vengeful as the vengeful manifestation of Ra's power, okay? The eye of Ra, Sekhmet, is said to be breath fire and the hot winds of the desert were likely were likened to her breath. She is also believed to cause plagues, which were called as her servants or messengers, although she is also called upon the ward of disease. And myths about the hand of Ra's rules of the on the earth. Ra sends the goddess Haftar and the form of Sekhmet to destroy mortals who conspire against him. Okay, so Sekhmet is a very violent, vengeful spirit, the cat woman that come anytime Ra, okay, the sun, Shemesh, okay, the most, you know what. This is all allegory, Bridget. Okay, this is all allegory and analogy. All right, hey, that's it's. Yeah, we're not talking about oh, you need to go worship Ra or whatever. That's not what that is. This is sacred here, man. Abraham taught those people this thing. And anyway, so Sekhmet is the is vengeful. Okay, it's a, it's a vengeance. Sekhmet is another word. It's the Black George and a female uh, composer, if you might want to call it that. So when you watch a video version of a cat and a crow taking that, the crow is a, nothing needs to be said about the crow, okay? The crow is like, the, the, the crow is, give me, <coughs> excuse me, Egyptian god the crow, there you go, is it? All right, I forgot the name of it. Oh uh, boy. Is it is it no that's tough, right? Is it tough? AKA Enoch. Yeah, tough, aka Enoch. And uh now the funny thing is, okay, tough Enoch and Sekhmet. Let me put a segment here. Man, I really need to set up this thing, man. See if I have uh, there we go segment. Let me put segment the cat woman. Oops, no, let's get images instead. This is uh, a lot more intimidating. Okay, let's take uh, this one is uh, this one is better. Let's take tough and segment. Let's make the connection. We just recently released a, a video on, uh, you know what, this thing is too sensitive. All right. This is uh, the video that we release. Okay, Brother Malachi and his wife, we highly recommend. Shalom to you, Big Levi. Um, it's nice to actually get in contact with you and everything. Okay, so his wife, you know, had a dream, all right? Okay. All right, his wife had a dream, okay, and he said something here. Let me see, where did he say it? Okay. He says something very, there we go, right here. I'm seeing that. Battling PTSD, um, schizophrenia, mm -hmm. um, and other things. You know, it's like really hard for me to get um, a good sleep. You know, the enemy is trying to pretty much prevent me from doing certain things at this moment. Um, so this is just, you know, like if if you wanted to share this revelation, you know, um, I know it says um, in the book of Enoch, um, once once Enoch rises, 
you know, then um, there will be more revelations on, you know, like what's going on with dreams, so on and so forth, because you, know, you have certain people who discredit the book of Enoch. Okay, so that's where he says once Enoch rises, okay. This is our own interpretation. Now, we'll say, we'll say that the crow is a representation of Enoch, all right, coming in to bring the knowledge. He rises above, okay. Take the flag down because they are not the true people. Even nature, they, they told you that, okay? That means the wisdom is in the mist. Now, you got, once the quote did this, taking them down, okay? Of course, the quote is a symbol of the Black George, you know, of course, the Black and Raven or whatever. And we have the mighty wisdom. We have the, uh, the knowledge that we need to get. After that, what's going to happen? The cat going to come. Excuse me, okay? The cat, which is a segment, vengeful. She is vengeful. A terrible woman when it comes to things like that, okay? She will destroy because she is the breath of the sun, okay? She will destroy the people. We get ready for that next heat wave that's coming this summer. It's going to get rid of a bunch of hash over there in the land of ish over there and over here all over the world. So now... And the brother dream, okay, he talk about Enoch, once Enoch rises, tough, all right, the, the quote, we got that. And somewhere around here, he's talk about the cat, okay, all right, this, uh, that's his wife talking about the cat, all right, let's listen. Open, and then like I was looking at this thing and it was just growing fast and I was telling him, I was like, oh my goodness, like in the dream, like, oh my goodness, like, I don't know what's going on. And then it appeared to look like an animal, like a cat. And um, and it had like bright bluish grayish eyes. And um, and it just started growing fast. And we was just freaking out, like, what the heck is this? But um what really got me in the dream was when the the cat it started, me and him was going through like we was talking to each other, we was like kind of like disagreeing in a way okay so, so segment you know the cat the goddess of the cat it was prophesied in the midst of the brother and the sister and you know vengeful wisdom coming you know we have the wisdom we take them down then segment go ahead and bring the plague and the heat and all this thing upon them so this is our interpretation. This is not a good sign right there. This is terrible. All right? Okay, that's the dust storm over there that caused all this accident. All right? All right, so let's put the volume down a little. There we go. Put the volume down a little. So the ley line is causing all this, man. All right, crazy accident, man. There you go. We barely bought the ley line anymore because things are happening so much, man. Let's keep on moving. Oh, that's the Utah monolith. Okay, we just talk about the Utah monolith, the prof the prophetic meaning of the Utah monolith according to scriptures, and you just watch this fellow. When in Utah, he came from Long Beach, California, I'm assuming, and he went all the way up to Utah and killed his brother. I believe when he came, when they came back to his house, his roof collapsed, something like that. Crazy things going on. So, yeah, let's keep on moving, man. Oh, that's the mass shooting. Uh, oops, uh, MS over there. And uh, we watched the Brian tonight. Seven there people are dead. Ten hurt after a reckless driver plowed into a crowd of people at a bus stop. It happened this morning outside a homeless shelter that houses migrants in Brownsville. That is a Texas border town about an hour southeast of McAllen. We have video showing the moments right before it happened. You can see the gray SUV running a light. We pause the video before the driver runs over the curb and into the crowded bus stop. That driver is now in police custody. Tonight, they are looking into whether this crash was intentional. Oh, well, it was seven kill nights, eight. Okay, that's what's going on. It's eight. Again, eight, eight, eight. At least eight people have been killed when they were run over at a bus stop near a migrant shelter in Texas. 
Police are investigating whether the crash was deliberate and whether the driver was targeting immigrants. At this bus stop in Brownsville, migrants were waiting for their chance at a new life. For many, that chance never came. This footage capturing the sickening moment, they were mowed down. It was really, really sad. People were running to help them. Uh, the bodies were all over the place. Witnesses say the driver appeared to aim straight at the waiting group. As far as we know, through witnesses saying that he disregarded a red light, and as you can see, we're here in the intersection, he disregarded a red light, went up straight to where the individuals were standing right over there at the, at the bus stop, and he ran over several individuals and rolled over. Police are hesitant to say the attack was deliberate. Their investigation hampered by the driver refusing to cooperate. It is unknown whether he tried to flee or not, but several of the people here actually detained him and were able to keep him detained until officers got there and actually arrested him. It's not uncommon to see queues of migrants at the bus stop. They cross the border and are housed at a nearby shelter. They stay here at the shelter up to four days. They have their, their, their flights and their, and their bus tickets ready to leave. Today's tragedy comes as a border policy called Title 42 expires in a matter of days. And when that happens, customs and border officials say there could be as many as 10,000 crossings a day. The situation at the border is a very serious one. It's putting pressure on the Biden administration, which is deploying 1,500 troops to help deal with the expected influx. What we had in 2020 under Donald Trump, success. And Biden and Harris came in and turned success into failure. But as the political... Always make it political. Let me tell you something about that border or whatever. You see, if the so-called 83 want these border things to stop and just in a snap they will stop it it's because they can't stop it and again brethren eight killed in a car rampage in texas all right and you don't hear from that in the news because of course you know, it's not involving you know the sword but yeah it's crazy out there man crazy so there isn't so much things going on uh, if we go to YouTube again, all right, let me see if you go to YouTube, okay, and the you know, suspect arrested in, in 29 year old hiker, uh, you know, stuff. Um, I don't, I don't talk about the whole King Charles thing because, uh, it, it was just it was just hilarious but something happened in the whole coronation let me see if i can get it let me see if i can put this thing here okay and ah uh, boy king charles uh, uh coronation grim reaper I had the video, I misplaced. There you go. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Let me see if I can play this one. All right. Okay, there's a Grim Reaper here. All right, this Grim Reaper character just walked by. All right. Let's see if we can take say a big, big picture. Uh, I don't want to. This thing usually have. Uh, let me see if I had like music. All lookers are convinced they spotted okay. the grim. All right. They spotted the grim reaper at Westminster Abbey as guests arriving go. to the historic event. Let's listen to them and let's listen to what happened. Like you know things like that. Let's listen. King Charles and Queen Camilla's coronation may be over, but there's one moment from the ceremony that caught people's attention. All lookers are convinced they spotted the Grim Reaper at Westminster Abbey as guests started arriving to the historic event. In the video, a hooded figure in all black can be seen walking across the aisle holding a long stick. The quick moment had royal fans talking on Twitter with one user writing, anyone else just noticed the Grim Reaper at Westminster Abbey? with another tweeting, why is the Grim Reaper at the coronation celebrations? Despite a possible sighting from the Angel of Death himself, King Charles's coronation went off without a hitch. 
The 74-year-old royal's coronation marked the first since Queen Elizabeth's in 1953 and comes almost eight months after he ascended the throne following her death. King Charles became the 40th monarch to be crowned at Westminster Abbey in a tradition dating back to 1066. His wife, Camilla, was also crowned on Saturday. She was previously known as the Queen Consort and will now officially be referred to as Queen Camilla. Access Hollywood recently chatted with DailyMail.com's Charlie Langston and she explained about the royal family's ensembles for the coronation and what they mean. I don't think for a second that King Charles sat Kate down and said, you know what, I don't think you should wear that dress because you're going to look too good. I don't think you should wear that tiara because you're really going to outsparkle me on my big day. That's just not who Charles is. However, in his role as king, Charles has very much prioritized a slimmed down image of the monarchy. He wants to really undo that kind of vision that a lot of you see how they never answer who this Grim Reaper fellow was? Why this dude just walk up right there? You see how they never answer it? They just, oh, King Charles is like, oh, come, he, this is not the person that he is and stuff. They never told you this, you know. This is not a good sign. Of course, they'll find any kind of way, any sort of way to explain, oh, that was a goof. That was a guy walking over there. No, this is the actual angel of death. <laughs> Just past there, your kingdom is done. It's the Black George. We don't even need to go into this. It's the Black George. And then uh, um, that's, what, that's what happened, man. Let me see. And an arrest in the case of a... Okay. All right. Uh, I don't. I don't really want to go into it because it, this is not worth my time. I already talk about this ever since uh, the mother died. Uh, he, his mom is that what that is? Die. Uh, we had uh, a video about it. Let me see if I can direct it to people. Okay, Queen Elizabeth. All right, so to speak. Okay, there you go. The esoteric meaning of the departure. Let me put it right there. A number but yeah okay the esoteric meaning of the of the departure of queen elizabeth the second all right hokavite earth one barren one fertile both of their demons work together 69 years and 96 years i go on to the whole thing okay we we figured out what happened and why all those things you know going on uh, the the 70 years war i know he's the 40th uh, monarch and things like that you know all right so we, we went into the whole thing you need to um you need to watch it okay they had demons you no know, gap amon or amon both of the demons they work together and things like that their guardian angel and so crazy crazy but if you want you can go ahead and and watch it okay all right and watch it we already went into this so that's why i don't want to go ahead and talk about king charles get out of here what a joke all right let's watch this bridging a lot of people are being no more what's going on what happened here and an arrest in the case of a 29 year old woman who was stabbed to death while hiking in broad daylight on an isolated trail she was alone when she was attacked from behind. And this is a warning for all women to be on guard. Amber Cagliano with more on how to stay safe. There's an arrest in the shocking stabbing murder of a young hiker that has a lot of women on edge across the USA. 22 year old Zion Teasley was taken into custody at his home in Phoenix, just a mile from where the murder took place. Police say 29 year old Lauren Heike was stabbed 15 times and that she tried in vain to escape her killer. This was the grainy video that led to the arrest, showing a man running from the murder scene where her body was found. Lauren worked at a local golf club and liked to post lip syncing videos on TikTok. Never take it seriously, you never get hurt. We spoke to her devastated parents, Jeff and Alana. She was, uh, she was my little girl. It's just going to be hard without her. Police say Lauren was attacked from behind as she hiked on the trail. Do you have anything suspicious in going on in her life, a person or anybody who would want to harm her? We, we don't, don't know. We don't know. We of course not. Of course not. The whole tic-tac thing, the whole social media, somebody saw her, sent a message, 
and she probably did not respond and people get they get pissed off and then they find out where you live and then they kill you you know those people always want to go hiking alone like as if hiking become it, hiking becomes something luxurious. It's become some social media garbage things about hiking. Hey, you gotta hike because, you know, hey, I'm about to hike right now alone in the dark. I'll be alright, social media and all that, and then things like that happen. We've never heard of anything that would raise any suspicion. Women getting attacked while running or hiking is happening too many times. It's reminding many people of the murder of Karina Vetrano in Queens, New York, who was murdered while jogging. Inside Edition producer Kim Pestalozzi went to the hiking trail where Lauren Heike just lost her life. It's pretty eerie thinking that if I screamed, I, I don't would hear I, me. I don't know why people would, would think it's cute to walk in a freaking Inside place like that. There's nobody there. You're hiking in this time of the day. But well, in this life that we are living right now, in this timeline, you know what's going on out there. And then you go out there without a gun, without the paper spray, without nothing. That addition, security consultant Steve Cardian says women need to take steps when they're hiking or jogging alone. And my best advice would be, if you're gonna go hiking, go with someone. In the perfect world, that would be okay. Yeah. If not, let somebody know exactly where you're gonna be, when you're gonna be there. Don't wear your earbuds. You're taking away your auditory sense. No music. You, no music. You won't hear somebody coming up behind you. Now, these parents are mourning the loss of their daughter gone too soon by a terrible act of violence. This is a, like, this is like an emptiness you cannot imagine in your life. We had so many dreams for her. Anyway, man, so I don't know why people do this nonsense. They go around and walk around in a place like that by themselves and thinking it's These cute. The thinking it's cute. It's not cute, man. It's not. All right. Okay. Also, some. Else, excuse me. There are so many things here. You know. All right, there are so many things here. Okay, good then. Second shooting in Serbia killed. We, we, we took that. Oh, that's the dude that got shot in Fort Lauderdale uh, at the mall. Um, I mean, uh, the, the Walmart. Okay. Okay, that's the guy that killed him. Um, Kill the girl. All right. Let's see. So many things going on, man. Wisconsin deputy Kelly Lacing kill while asking driver to fail sobriety test. Uh, mm, ah, are doing things too. That's good. That's good. Mm. Uh huh. Okay, all right, we'll, we'll stop. We'll, we'll, we'll take those two. Let me see. The local 10 is speaking with the girlfriend of the hero who tried to stop an attack on a woman at the Lauderdale Lakes Walmart and was shot and killed. Meanwhile, the suspect who worked at that store faced other was. It's the sounds that plays back in your head. It's the whole scene that plays back in your head. It was supposed to be a simple shopping trip that changed Makia Ford's life forever. She watched her boyfriend and infant baby's father, Thierry Bastien, get shot six times. In the front of the baby and in the front of my kids and in the front of me, that's something I'm never, ever going to get over for the rest of my life. Ford says she and Bastien witnessed a man beating up a woman inside this Lauderdale Lakes Walmart. No one tried to help the woman out, and Ford says Bastien came to her aid. Okay, Bassin. And if you can, if you can see him here, right here, he has the the Haitian um, uh, the Haitian armory tattoo in his hand. You know, so that's what happened, man. He went and tried to help. Boom, he got killed. Lot of their licks. Great glory. New details now on the suspect in the murder of Lauren Heike. The 29-year-old woman was stabbed to death, left on a hiking trail in Phoenix. Police discovered her body near Scottsdale Road and Mayo Boulevard last Saturday morning. Police sharing new details on the case today. The autopsy 
on the 29 year old revealed she was stabbed 15 times. Mm. She had self defense wounds on her hands and arms. Evidence indicates that she was chased through a barbed wire fence. The motive is still mm. unclear mm. and the murder weapon has not been recovered. As for the suspect, 22 year old Zion Teasley, he lived about a mile and a half away from where the murder occurred. Teasley is now accused of first degree murder in the case. He's being held on a $1 million cash bond. Fox 10's Lauren Clark joins us live now with what we've learned about him. All and right. He did have a criminal past. Of course, we got to focus on his criminal That's past. Right. You know, his name is Zion. Zion go out there stabbing people. Act at one point facing up to 13 felonies, and that's certainly very jarring when you hear that at first. But once you start digging into the court records, you get a little bit more of a clearer picture. This essentially stemming from a string of robberies happening at two local Circle K's, where uh, reportedly, according to court records, Teasley would take things like Google Play cards. He would also take tobacco and beer and even money from the cash register and according to those records uh, he also served some time behind bars and was on probation at the time of his arrest anyway we really don't care for the fourth time in the past four weeks a community in our area is mourning the loss of a law enforcement officer we're now learning more about 29 year old deputy katie lacing Today, the community support continued at Regents Hospital in St. Paul. You can see these officers and deputies lining the walkway, saluting as they prepare to bring Deputy Lacing back to Wisconsin. Now some aerial images that show the overwhelming support, many people lining bridges along I-94 this afternoon. Mariel Mose is live in Hudson outside the sheriff's office there where a squad car memorial is growing tonight. Al? So she got killed, all right. <laughs> She got killed, and those guys, they are, they are dying, man. They are dying. It's all over, and there's nothing they can do. You know, the blessing is done. There's nothing anyone can do about this, okay? Then again, beloved, I'll ask the nation uh, to keep the beloved brother uh, Malachi and his wife in prayer. Let me just uh, show you the video. Shalom, beloved. All right, so Brother Malachi and his wife, uh, you may see there's another video here, those are for members only. The members saw that video um, before it got released, all right? So if you would like to get, be a member, just click the join button, okay, and then choose uh, a level. I, If you ask me, Entra Templum is the best way for you to go, not because it is the highest, it is because it is the best. We don't do the prayers anymore. Uh, the last time we do a prayer uh, was, uh, oh, can't even remember last time, uh, was two weeks ago. Okay, so, and we do lessons. We study all those or study, okay, we do private studies, okay, and that's how we acquire the knowledge because we, we've been put on hold to study more we study live now we don't study in public anymore because those things are sacred matthew 7 6 that's why we don't do this so keep the beloved brother uh malachi and his wife in prayer because they brought us these dreams and experience that they were laughed at when they were in that camp okay so the mighty one pulled them out and you know they they come here and they share this so there is we're gonna study tonight again all right so and uh, so if you have anything to share with us there's the rules and guidelines okay uh no let me see let me read this uh, great glory shalom beloved brothers and sisters we are excited to invite you to share your dreams visions spiritual journeys and other meaningful experiences with our community. In order to maintain a positive high vibration atmosphere and abide by YouTube guidelines, we kindly ask that you adhere to the following rules and policies when submitting your videos or audio recordings. Okay, uh, no profanity, hate, anger, or inflammatory language. 
ensure your video are recorded in a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. Please do not record vertically 9, 16 as it will result in the two big black bars that you can you see on the side, okay? No background music or loud noises. No nudity or explicit content. Avoid promoting conflicts such as camp bashing, camp banging, or attack another YouTube channels or religious group. Maintain a calm, peaceful, and positive demeanor during your recording. By submitting your co content, you consent to, sh to us sharing your videos or audio publicly on our platform in accordance with YouTube terms. Be aware that not all sub submissions will be shared as some may be too personal for public consumption. You have the option to show your face or remain anonymous in your video. But no vertical video is allowed. If submitted the audio, ensure it's clear and free of distraction. Keep your testimony concise, on point, and focus on the core message. Please send your dreams and experiences to BigLevyPriest at gmail.com. You can also visit our website, BigLevy.com, and call us at 786 512-6797 for assistance with holy items, consecration, and tabac, and more. We are eager to hear about your experiences and look forward to, share, to sharing them with our community. May peace, love, and high vibration be with you always. Okay, so um, if you wish to share something, record the video, no vertical record. Okay, if it's vertical, uh, we're probably not going to show it. All right, so we ask you to share with us, and you can join us studying every every weekdays, Monday through Friday, eight thirty p.m. Join either here or and or on Patreon. Uh, let me see if we can get to Patreon here. Oh boy. Let's see if we can get to Patreon. Whoops. Interesting. Hmm. Can't get here to Patreon. Uh huh. I don't think I'll sign in in, in this computer and Patreon. So, oops, I gotta do this separately. There we go. All right. So you can choose accept you can choose to become a member, okay? Uh oh, they took out they took out Gravis? Uh they took out Intra Templum? It's four levels. See all four levels. Ah, see? Intra Templum, they took that out. That's the one that's gonna be the best for you. Uh you can if you drain out five you can only watch the lesson and, and download the images, okay? And the rest, you get so much things going on there. You can get stuff. There are so many beautiful images here. See if I can log in with this. It won't allow me because this computer is brand new. Let me check it again before. Ah, how do you know? I got liked in. So <clears throat> those are the lesson, you know, things, pictures you can find. Uh, you'll find good, good pictures here. You can download them and use them however you want. You can make them as your profile picture. You can do a lot of things with them, okay. Uh, got more and more stuff here, more lesson, you know, more pictures. This is our sister Kayla, uh, artwork, and the other students. They show they send things, and we have them, Okay, those are lessons. Okay. All right, certain things here.
can get some pictures and you can download them keep the vibration high keep the vibration positive so yeah that's what you can do to drain us and we no longer public right now okay so that's why we had to do this because those are sacred things and we cannot share them i believe now youtube as allow if you have a tablet you can see the community post now okay so yeah you can see those things and you can check our community post we post daily and uh, you can look at them those are the other beings the higher beings you can communicate with those are render of them that's not a human right there this is a higher being okay those are higher being they they look like those are they look like us but they form the higher sphere and they have technologies that are beyond anything you can possibly imagine but the only thing the only problem with them we are superior to them and they are eager waiting for us to come and get the knowledge we receive the messages from them okay those are homeworks if you wish to do homeworks with us and you can join and you can do the homeworks with us okay testimony and all those things you can check this and see what you like see what you can get okay all right so all right some certain beautiful pictures you can download them print them and making things with them you know you can make a, a poster with them all right All right, all those things, they are here. Whoops. Uh, you can get them. But anyway, beloved, I say thank you for joining us. Oops. Uh, it seems like I think if that thing is not recorded, I'll be so peace, man. Thank you for joining us and continue of doing your research and study and whenever the mighty one want us to go publicly again we will go but in the meantime we have to study and keep the vibration high ask and it shall be given unto you seek and ye shall find knock and it shall be opened unto you for everyone that asketh receiveth and he that seeketh findeth and to him that knacketh, it shall be open unto him. Be not deceived, God is not mine. For whatsoever a man soweth, that he shall also reap. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Selah, so be it.